Triplets are three babies carried in the womb during a single pregnancy. Like twins, triplets and other higher order multiples can be categorized by their zygosity, monozygotic triplets. It is rare for triplets to be completely monozygotic, meaning that all three children formed from a single egg that split three ways, or split into two, and then one of the two split again, ultimately resulting in three embryos with the same general DNA characteristics. Some monozygotic triplets are actually quadruplets, where one embryo has vanished or been reabsorbed. Monozygotic triplets are always of the same gender, either all boys or all girls. Recently, identical triplets made headlines when a monozygotic triplet pregnancy resulted after a single embryo was implanted in an in vitro procedure. The Beswick family is now the second known family to have such an occurrence in the United States. The identical triplet pregnancy was suspected by Dr. Susan Schaefer at the preliminary eight-week ultrasound and confirmed by Dr. Schmidt at the routine nine-week ultrasound, much to the shock of the Beswicks and the entire medical community. What are the odds? Research varies on the instances of monozygotic triplets. Estimates range between 1 in 60,000 and 1 in 200 million. There doesn't seem to be a clear definition of what exactly the odds are, perhaps because it is rare. Another explanation of the variance may be in defining triplet conceptions slash pregnancies and live triplet births. A monozygotic triplet pregnancy carries the risks of a monozygotic pregnancy with a shared placenta and the additional risks of a triplet pregnancy. A pregnancy of this type is more likely to encounter problems such as preeclampsia, preterm labor, and even transfusion syndrome. Claire Elizabeth, Mackenzie May Sidney, and Indiana Rose were born at Dominican Hospital in Santa Cruz at 32 weeks gestation on the afternoon of May 7, 2012 weighing 3 pounds 3 ounces, 3 pounds 8 ounces, and 4 pounds 8 ounces. They stayed in the neonatal intensive care unit, or NICU, for a month. What was your decision on the number of embryos to transfer? We decided to only transfer a single embryo. We, um, we were very certain that we just wanted to have two children total, and we were not um, morally going with selective reduction, which is where you transfer multiple embryos and then um, re reduce the pregnancy to the desired amount is an option, but that's not something that we felt was a decision that would be right for our family, so we wanted one baby and transferred one embryo. Um, and apparently nobody nobody cared about that plan. <laughs> but the embryo split and then it split again. One half split again and that's, that's how we ended up with identical triplets. Explain what happened at your first ultrasound. It was my husband's birthday. We had we had actually two uh, two ultrasounds that day. The first was with um, my OB, Dr. Shaker, here in Santa Cruz, and we went in just like a normal ultrasound. Um, my husband Andy was there. Charlotte, our oldest daughter, was there, and I think if I recall correctly, the first thing she said was "Uh oh" when she looked at the screen, and it's not anything you. Ever, ever want to hear at your ultrasound? So immediately, I just you know thought the worst, and then it was quiet for a couple minutes, and then she said, "Well, there's at least two babies." That first ultrasound was interesting with with the uh, most recent pregnancy, yeah, um, because I was like, <laughs> I wasn't as shocked as she was, but. Um, you know, it's like, okay, she had an idea, we're going to look and see the little baby and make sure it's okay. And then I always, I've had patients where, like, they go, I had a dream that there were two. So I always make sure I look for the other one with the ultrasound one, you know, just to make sure. And she had told me I only wanted to like, and look back. And I, I sort of moved it, I go, uh, I think I see two. And she's like, no. And then I look, and I, I go, I think there's three. But I'm not sure about the third one. And I just, I, I couldn't understand. I, I didn't, I couldn't understand what she was talking about. 
So she said, I need, I need you guys to go for, up to Stanford for a level two ultrasound right away to find out what's happening with this pregnancy. Because I had been in touch with her the whole time. She knew um, that I was seeing Dr. Schmidt and that we had transferred one embryo the month before. So we drove to Stanford. We drove straight from our office to see Dr. Schmidt. And um, it was probably the fastest drive anyone has ever made to Stanford. I don't think Andy or I spoke a word the whole way. And um, when we got there, he confirmed that we were, that the embryo had split in half, and we were expecting identical triplets. No, that's wrong. He told us we were expecting identical twins. So at that point, we found out we were having identical twins. When we first thought we were having twins, we were very surprised and, all right, well, we can do this. And I believe my words were on the way home that day, at least it's not triplets. Uh, well, I proved myself wrong, and it is triplets, and it was triplets, and uh, probably the first time I've ever heard my wife not speak for a while. Then at your second? So the second ultrasound, this is, this is about, I believe a week later, he had us come back, um, just to con confirm what, you know, the, the embryo had indeed split, and that it was a healthy, viable, identical twin pregnancy, and... So Andy and I had obviously panicked, absolutely panicked the first week, and then we sort of came to terms with, okay, you know, we, we can handle two more babies. We're, you know, we we never plan on having three kids, but but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. We can handle two more babies. After a little initial stress and a little honest uh, fear, it was pretty awesome. We put our minds to it and moved forward. So 